um, for those that didn't see Daniel Shake's post the other day, um, there was an update to uh, a classification that he did, and it was a classification that myself, Kyle, Josephy, uh, Sean Mahoney, and oh my God, Juan, what was it Juan? And Juan Avilas, thank you, baby. Uh, and and Juan Avilas Pavlodar, um, it's Irachidia zero zero four, has been reclassified as a from a Winonite to a Winonite anonymous anomalous. Um, there was two remember there was a high metal and a low metal winonite within this type within the irachidia uh stern field we had the oxygen isotope testing done and had double everything done to confirm that they are the exact same uh meteorite um it's not overlapping strewn fields but what's interesting now is daniel did some some write-up some more research on the silicates and on the write-up of it now in the Met Bowl, it's super cool because it talks about this, as we, we've we talked about it before uh, through our 101s, that the Winonites are a transitional meteorite. And sometimes that kind of gets confusing or we don't know what it means, we don't ask. But it's between one class and another or one type and another more likely. So if you look at the Irachidia write-up, it's going to say something to the effect of it is a it's the missing link, if you will. That's my words. It's the missing link. It's the the skeleton we've been waiting for that uh, talks to the end of the high metal winonites and the start of the silicated irons. So it's a transitional member between those two important parts of the, of the meteorite world, where you think of a silicate rich iron versus a iron rich silicate it's kind of um so yeah i i think there's gonna be more it's currently it's one of only two there was one uh, that he classified uh i think last go around and because it it the oxygen isotopes tested so closely to irachidia we had him look back uh sean mahoney was gracious enough to to either give him another slice or make sure the slice he had was representative of what he needed. And uh, through that, he was able to get the NOMCOM to change it to a one of two um, uh, Winonite anomalous. Congratulations, yeah. Tober and, and all of the other uh, mass holders. That We are so blessed to have Daniel. He, his his write-ups in the Met Bowl shine compared to most of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When, when you look in there and you and you see a right, every once in a while, there's not much you can write about, you know, H four or something. You know what I mean? Um, but every once in a while, you'll see that he did go overboard on writing. And I, we all love those those Met Bowl entries where there's a plethora of information where you can look into it and read and 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 actually learn from it rather than just getting a chemical breakdown. So, so that's something I'm super excited about, and I have. Thing. Yes. If don't do any show and tell on webcams, he says. <laughs> if anyone is looking for the Irachidia 004 uh, low and high metal thin section sets, I have two. I'm selling one and keeping one for myself. Other than that, they don't exist. So that is my uh my good news update. Thank you, Sue, for reminding me about that. <laughs> 